What's up everyone? Today we are at North Carolina Motocross Park yet again. It's the uh, middle of the week, it's a Tuesday, and oh my god, it is like empty. Like I've never seen the place this empty ever. It's almost kind of scary. Like I got the whole damn place to myself. Alright, so I'm back from my lunch break, so let's start doing some hard laps. I will be attempting the triple today. I didn't attempt it last week because the week before I got into a pretty big crash and I just really didn't want to do anything crazy. But I have a new sprocket right now, which is actually much better for hitting this thing. I did it in the past. So I'm really excited to do it, but I'm just going to warm up properly before I try it. Make sure I can get some good laps in. That looks like we're Take this inside. Oh, fail. Fucking fail. Oh my god. I tried. Maybe next time. Ow. Damn it. Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> There's a certain point where you just gotta know where to quit. <laughs> I'll do it next lap. I'll get it right. Once you lose your rhythm, it's just like, it's just hard to get back on track, it seems. Sideline. All right, let's take a quick break. About to do some more laps. Let's go. Let's take this rut. Let's try. Okay, here we go. Not bad, not bad. Whoa, brake tap. God damn. Little sketch. Wind is blowing out here today, somewhat. go sideways a little bit sideways seems whoa 
this guy's quick. God, that is a rough landing. I just landed on a braking bump. God, that just killed my arms holding on. Ah! <laughs> I gotta actually clear that one. Oh hell no, I'm not, not getting stuck in that rut again. No thanks. I'll take the pussy line. <laughs> Footwork. That dude's throwing some mean whips. And I downshifted in the air. That is like the one main thing I like about four strokes is you can downshift and it'll slow you the hell down. But I really did enjoy riding that YZ250 the other week. I don't always like engine braking, like if I'm just coasting. But when I'm coming really fast into a corner, it's nice. chopping the throttle there. You're not supposed to do that. It's okay. Practice makes perfect. Inside line, inside line. fucked it up again. It's okay. Ah. Let's try again. Oh. A little short. So it's about that time of the day, about to hit the 100 foot uphill triple. I got a new sprocket. I was shit talking my 51 tooth, kind of blaming it for me not being able to clear it right. So let's see if uh, this, let's see if this disproves my theory. Here we go, fourth gear. Nope, 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 nope. I, I overshot that. I'm, I'm going to try again. See if I can make it this time. Hell yeah! 
Oh, oh, I'm going way too fast. Holy shit, woo! That is how you clear it. That is the best I think I've ever cleared it. Unfortunately, uh, I was carrying a little bit more speed and kind of forgot that there was a turn. I did the safest thing and just went off the track. You know, I don't need to be cornering like a fucking pro. Woo! I think I'm gonna do it again. But I'm gonna try and be a little more better prepared for it. Let's see. Okay, brake, brake. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Woo! Fuck yeah! That is what I like to see. Woo! Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Woo! <laughs> I should never get sold. Oh, I love riding dirt bikes. Downshift in the air. Perfect. I downshifted in the air. Fuck yes. I'm so proud of myself. Brake tap. Woo! Hell yes, dude. That is how you clear it. That's what I've been trying to do. So it looks like I was right after all. My sprocket was to blame. It had a lot of torque. And it was good for some stuff, but for wide open, full speed shit, it just wasn't the best. What? Oh boy. It's my oil. I might have lost the bolt. Is it okay if it just leaks? Yeah, it's okay, but <laughs> gone now. Hold the bike. I didn't tighten it enough. Fuck. Do you have another one? Yeah, I got one. I got I got a spare. I won't be able to ride until I do another oil change though. That sucks. Didn't you just do an oil change? I literally just did it. Let's see. Is my bolt just loose or I changed it last night. I knew I should have tightened it more, damn it. It's okay. I'm glad I caught that now. So uh, today took a little bit of a turn for the worst. So towards the end of my riding, I um, like I nicked a uh, rock coming off the track. I don't know if you could see that, but it gashed whatever that is, my side cover wide open and oil leaked everywhere, so. And I just changed my oil last night, which freaking sucks. So, yeah, I'm going to have to get this whole cover probably replaced. Don't know how much that's going to cost, but I can't imagine it's going to be cheap. But fortunately, I was able to catch it while there was still oil on my bike because that could have been really bad. But ultimately, I'm glad I I noticed like pretty much instantly after. So, yeah, that sucks. And, oh, oh, it gets better. It gets better. I was leaving... And my tire is flat, so I am stuck in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, changing out of flat tires. But ultimately, in the end, I'm just glad that I'm okay and nothing went wrong. But yeah, so that, that's how today is going. I got some awesome footage, got some awesome pictures, was able to do the riding I wanted to do today, so ultimately I'm grateful for that. But the end of the day just took a turn for the worst, and not just for me. I was... You know, when I was packing my stuff up, I saw someone else, their bike just stalled in the middle of the air, and their chain broke, their sprocket got destroyed, and their swing arm just is just gashed to hell. So he had a bad day, too. And it's weird, because we were the only two people at the track. The only two people at the track got their bikes pretty much fucking destroyed. So I, I'm just going to say that today is cursed. So... <laughs> Yeah, that, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully I'll get this thing up and running in a couple weeks. And I'll see you guys in the next video.